What's up guys, welcome back to My Little Blacksmith Shop. We are now on version 0 .0 0.0.63. Um, so I don't know if that's what the current one is when this is going out, but today that is what is the current one. So I'm going to start a new game, and we're going to get right into it. Uh, so I, I noticed last time that the, the greatsword was causing issues. Uh, as far as, like, whenever you would order it, you would only make, like, six dollars. And then, whenever you would, uh, yeah, whenever somebody asked for it, they would only pay you six, even though it cost you, uh, thirty-six to make. So, they went through and they fixed that. Apparently, it wasn't just the, the great sword that was doing that. The one-handed sword was doing it as well. Uh, just, you weren't losing as much on it. So, uh... They fixed that. They're actually paying an appropriate amount for it now. Um, and as a way to apologize, the developer gave you 200 coins to start the game off with now in case there's another issue like that, which I don't think there is if they've fixed it. But if not, God, just stay on the fire. All right, so we have that. Let's get all of you somewhere. Not in my way. Ugh. Fuck off. Okay. We have all that. We have all that. That's all fired up. Let's... We're just going to go through one day in this episode. We're going to go through one solid day. It's about a ten minute game. So, we're going to go through and we're going to do that. So the, I, I figured out the best way to approach this is you have all your stuff on the fire already. When people come in and they ask for something, you build it and then... You immediately go and order what you used to make it. At least that was what was working best in previous versions. I don't know if that's still the case. Um, and that's what... And it snaps now. That's interesting. That's that's actually really good. Um, because... Oh, and that works a lot better now, too. Okay. So, one thing that was an issue before was that it was real easy to drop ingots off the anvil. So, okay. Oh. Oh! Okay, so the spawn location for the pole arm is still a little off and causes some jumping. Uh, you want a great hammer. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that it snaps, and I don't like that it snaps. Be uh, and that uh, there's two reasons behind that. Um, I like that it snaps because, like I said earlier, it makes it a lot easier to deal with the fact that um, that the ingots used to fall off the anvil. Uh, two hand grip, ingots. One, two, one, two, three. Place order. Uh, I don't see the grip in there. Oh, y'all come real fast now. Dagger? Okay, I can do a dagger. I'm the best at making daggers. Okay, let me change that. Uh, one issue I saw that people were having, um, and I'm guessing it was in version... Um, it, it was in Alpha 6.2. I didn't get to play 6.2. I've only seen 6.3. Um, one issue people were talking about in that was that... Um, they weren't actually able to craft uh, items correctly because there was a detection issue. What would you like? You would like a one-hand sword. Okay. So, like, you would put two, uh, two copper on there, but it would only do the one copper blade as opposed to uh, a two copper blade. And if you put three on there, it would make a two copper blade instead of a three copper blade. Oh, that was the one I wanted, but it's fine. We'll go with this one. Uh, give me the blade. There we go. Oh, don't stab me in the stomach. Don't stab me in the stomach. Okay, I need a guard. There we go. And there's you a one-handed sword. I didn't get to play that version, but that's one thing people were saying was a problem. Uh, so that might happen. I, it might not. I honestly don't know but 
Okay. I saw you were over there. I don't know why you were over there. What would you like? You would like a great hammer. Uh, I don't have the metal for that. So you're going to have to wait a little bit longer uh, than you would like. Okay, so guard. We'll put you in. You didn't go where I wanted you to. Grab the grip. And the floor is fine for you as well. Okay. And... And... and okay, and locked. So, my objective here is to see what bugs I can find, uh, if there's any, uh, find what bugs I can, make as much money as possible, obviously, because that's the, that's the point of the game, is to make as much as possible as you can. Oh, leveled up. But, one, two, three, back, grips, one of those, place order, break box. And you shoot over there. I don't like that you shoot over there, but that's okay. I have no metal. What would you like? You would like a great sword, and you're in a hurry. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I don't have any metal prepared for you, so you're going to have to wait a minute. But I will do what I can for you while the metal is heating. Okay. Grip. Two-hand guard. I like that these are outlined. I really do. That it tells you exactly what it is. It makes it a lot easier to craft the correct item. That was something that whenever I first played this, I had a problem with. Was crafting the correct item because I didn't know exactly which items required what. And the blade. Alright. There's you a two-handed sword. So excuse me, I need to... Uh, I need a two-hand grip. I need two-hand guard. I do like that these are broken up. Now, it makes it a lot easier to get the things that you need. Um, I probably said all these same things uh, in the last update. Uh, a one-hand hammer? Okay, I can do that. I still need the metal, though, so it's going to take me a minute. Okay. Start the heat on that. And start bringing metal over here. Like, I know not all this metal is going to get heated, but, and I might have to, and I might re just refire everything so that, um, just to make sure that everything is ready. I, I don't need all of this metal sitting outside. And these people are coming quick now. Like, I have, like, next to no breathing room as far as they're concerned. Oh, copper ready. Uh, copper ready. Okay. And now, you want, you want a hammer? Yeah. Okay. I can make you a hammer. No big deal. But I'm gonna make you a nicer hammer. This one. This is one of my favorites. Need, give me the grip. Catch, go. There you are. Thank you very much. All right. Two ingots. And a one hand grip. I really like that those are broken. Whenever it was all one menu, it was a lot harder to figure out like what was what. And scrolling through it was a lot more difficult as well. What the hell? Uh, you would like a great hammer. Okay. I can do that. Uh, go ahead and fire that. Okay. Oh god, I love that snap. I really hope that's something that they don't program out. It makes getting stuff on the anvil so much easier. Oh my god, hit it. I do struggle sometimes actually timing it correctly so that I can hit things. I, I saw some people online were like, they were saying, oh, you hold it. And it does it. That's never worked for me. Holding it has never worked. And I don't like the idea of that either. Of being able to hold it and just hammer away. Oh, not four. Not four. I need three. Right. Um, yeah, I don't like the idea of being able to just hold it and go. What I would honestly like to see is something a little bit different. Like, I like the idea behind 
It requires more metal to create different items. Um, but what I would like to see in the game is a smelter. Like, you've got the forge in here that you have to heat the, uh, your ingots on. But I would like to see, like, as opposed to ordering ingots, what I think would be really cool and would just, it would add to the level of, of the game, is, like, have, like, a smelter right here. So when you order, you order raw metal. And so, like, it takes three, it takes, you know, three copper of the raw metal, and you can make an ingot that will create your, your great hammer or your great sword. And that would be a little bit cooler. And then you have, you have to take it from the smelter to the forge and heat it and beat on it a little bit to craft the item. Maybe even have to take it back to the forge after hitting it a few times to, to reheat it. That would be really cool, in my opinion. I, I know a lot of people will not agree with me about that, but it just adds a little bit more... Uh, it adds a little bit more to the actual concept of blacksmithing if you do it that way. These organization things are amazing. Did I ever? Oh, I, I did. I just never put it away. Okay, because I like to put the pole arms right there because there's a lot of room for them. Okay, so I've got all the metal. These are all the people that I did items for today. May have some fair money. Oh, I have a level. Um. Okay, so... Oh, I'm out. there we go. Charisma, increase sale price, increase movement speed, and decrease hits on Everil, on Anvil every five levels. In, I'm guessing that's supposed to be strict. Mm. I'm guessing for every five levels of strength, it, you can you hit the metal less. So you would actually have to dedicate to that. But Charisma increases sale price. So we're going to go into Charisma. Uh, our, P. That seems like the thing that needs to be dealt with most. Okay. So I made $27 today. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's pure pro or no, I made $26 pure profit. A lot of these items are pretty close to crafting price. Like the great sword here, I made a single coin off of. It's a little low in my opinion, but I did make profit off of it and that's what matters. So I made 27 in profit today, so I can't really order more metal, but I can order more grips. I like having more grips just readily available. Okay. And let's order one of each of these. Okay. And at the end of the day, I made six bucks. That I did not reinvest into the shop. Um, like I said, I'd rather see... I, I would like to see the idea of putting in raw metal... Um that you have to smelt into your ingots rather than just being able to hammer away at ingots and it creates the, the stuff that you need and you need a certain number of them. Like, I'd like it to be... It'd be cooler, and just in my opinion, not something that actually has to be... I just think it would be cooler if, you know, you had more of the actual crafting process in there. So it's like, you know, the metal actually comes out larger from the smelter for your larger weapons. You know, smaller metal for smaller weapons. As opposed to just getting more pieces of metal and putting them on there. That, I think, would add a little bit to the immersion levels. Um, being able to heat all the metal on the forge is great. Being able to do that, I'm pretty sure it's just an oversight. But it's great being able to because it saves a lot of time. It saves so much time being able to just take stuff straight off the forge and immediately start hammering it. Um, so, I've never named my shop, so, I don't know, uh, butts and stuff, I don't know, done, and, ooh, okay, found a bug, um, oh, oh, okay, so there's a bug for you, hey, Dev, um, whenever you try to name your shop, the, the the thing stays on your face. So that's a that's an interesting bug. Uh, I don't know if it's been reported yet, but there's that. I don't... Like I said, by the time this comes out, because I'm recording this um, a little under a week in advance. I mean, I, I'm recording about four days before it actually gets posted. So, so there's that. But yeah, that's just going to be on your face constantly. Okay, that's not... That's not ideal. Uh, maybe it'll go away uh, after sleeping. 
Maybe that's how you get rid of it, because this is literally the only bug that I've seen so far. Now, granted, all I've been doing is working with copper. It does not go away. Um, I don't know if any of the other metal types are bugged. I don't know if, like, the fancy grips are bugged. Um, I don't really ever mess with that kind of stuff anyways, because I always try to... I always try to play the game in the purest way. Like, yeah, this... The, little, the cheapness of, of heating all the metal at once... That might not be the best. Uh, there's all of these crystals, like this guy, that the developer put in, and obviously they're here for a reason. Cannot figure out what they do. They don't seem to uh, to obey gravity. They, I've tried uh, putting them in the fire. I've tried combining all four of them. Well, the four that I found together. I've tried putting them on the anvil. I've tried putting them in the chest. Um, I've tried putting them on the crafting table. I don't know what those do. So, I'm sh it, maybe it's just something that hasn't been implemented yet. But, um, there's a lot of mystery behind that. There's this big-ass guy here who's just kind of there. I don't know if he's going to ever do anything. But, yeah. Um, so, that's one day. That's one solid day of doing nothing but crafting. Um, it gets really fast-paced. Like I said, if you know what you're doing, uh, whenever you're first coming into this, it might not be as easy because you don't really know everything that you need to do. Uh, I like that the papers have been moved from being like on the crafting table and on the, the anvil to kind of being over here. Um, one thing Rain suggested whenever she saw me playing this was like, which it would be hard to implement, okay? Um, it's not something that you could do while it's an alpha. That's de It's definitely something to be closer to the end of the be in beta or, or something like that. Um, she was talking about having it be like your grandfather teaches you how to, how to smelt or not how to smell, but how to do this, and as opposed to having these papers lying around everywhere. But that's something that's, that would be a little bit more complicated and doesn't need to be focused on at all right now because getting bugs like this taken care of would be a better thing to be worrying about right now. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below. Like, video, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time.